These were a dead DIY project. There goes that. There. Attempt number two. Homemade heated gloves. In-floor heating cord. Now this cord, or wire, whatever you want to call it, is carbon fiber. So this length here was designed to run on 240 volts. Cut it. We don't want to make too many joints. It would be better just to have one solid length. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to put some glue. Ooh, let's get warm. Let's start us off. Without getting burned. We've got the heat cord glued onto the, the gloves. I'm just putting a little more glue. Yeah, so it's, it's way more flexible just hot glued on there. It's actually a thin little factory glove. That didn't take very long. Now all we got to do is take our wires. So to connect from the wire to the carbon fiber, it would be better to put a crimp end that's designed for the carbon fiber because we don't want any arcing. Carbon burns really, really hot. Try for now, make a connection. We already tried this and it was fine. We just want to make a nice tight connection of the copper over top of carbon fiber so we get a nice twist on it you cannot solder it because it's it's you will never be able to solder to the carbon that's pretty good that's not going to go anywhere a piece of electrical tape put it around our connection you want to be careful because you don't want to damage the carbon fiber in any way I just want to slide, slide it I think that's a pretty good connection all right Glue this now to the glove. There's got to be better ways of doing this, but it's all right. Let's slip this on and see what we got. Oh yeah, this is way more flexible, way better than the other design. And that's not bad. I mean, it's just hot glued on there. We're probably going to want to put some more glue here and there on to kind of make sure that the heat cord doesn't come off. The whole idea here is so that we can slip another glove over top. Is there going to be enough room? No problem. And I can move my hand. We need to see if this is going to work. So let's turn it on. Inside temperature. Most viewers know Fahrenheit, so I'm going to go with that. You can see the temperature, 44 degrees. And we go over to here, we're at 87, 91, 90, 103... So I'm powering the gloves off a 20 volt lithium battery pack. I have about four of these battery packs laying around when I'm not using the electric chainsaw. So I thought, well, this would be perfect. So this first design was a complete failure and it was a lot more work. Really, really easy. We're running on a 20 volt battery and we have ourselves a homemade heated glove. We've got 110. So we're up to about 110 now. Add a little bit of craft glue just in spots where I think it's going to raise up and come off. And I'm gonna go around and just put a little bit of glue. And maybe that will, will make it last longer. Let that set up. As you can see with this one, I've just put a couple threads just to kind of hold it in place. But you could do a way better job. So it's actually very, very simple. We have our carbon fiber heat cord. I've cut it into this desired length. And then I've just attached a piece of copper wire to it. And then that goes to our blade connectors. So we can just plug these directly into the battery pack and then the heated gloves are on. So the idea of these gloves is you slide them on like this and then you put a glove over top. And I can feel like I just turned it on and I can feel it's really nicely warming my hands. And these I have tried. I've gone out in minus 15 and my hands stayed warm. So I didn't put the heat cord onto the palm of my hand because if you're going to pick up things then you're gonna start wearing into the cord so of course you can buy heated gloves they vary in price pairs I got 15 bucks for the two pairs they come with the glove and they come with the little heating element the glove itself isn't really any use for me but so I push these into my glove when it's really cold and they do work but I figured I would be able to build a better glove where I could actually warm up my entire hand in total there's probably only about two dollars worth of materials here to build this so i don't recommend building my projects this channel is just about sharing ideas take care and peace out